Chief Executive John Lee and Guangdong Province Governor Wang Weizhong co-chaired the 23rd Plenary of the Hong Kong-Guangdong Cooperation Joint Conference in the central government offices. The two sides signed several pacts covering innovation and technology, finance, labor, smart cities, and the regulation of pharmaceutical and medical devices. To take INT development in the two cities to new heights, the leaders penned two deals after the meeting. They include the renewal of the Cooperation Agreement on Technology and Innovation Exchange between Guangdong and Hong Kong, as well as the Cooperation Agreement between Guangdong and the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region on co-developing a smart city cluster. Moreover, the Financial Services and the Treasury Bureau signed the agreement on enhancing Hong Kong-Guangdong financial cooperation with their Guangdong counterpart to promote their deepened financial cooperation. The meeting also touched on the development of the northern metropolis. Both sides agreed to continue strengthening cooperation and making full use of the synergy between the northern metropolis and the greater Bay Area cities in different areas. The chief executive added that both governments strive to announce the arrangements concerning the quota-free scheme for Hong Kong private cars traveling to Guangdong via the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge within this month. The scheme, slated to take effect within this year, is expected to enhance the bridge's utilization and the interconnectivity within the Bay Area. To further enhance the cooperation between Guangdong and Hong Kong on labor inspection and law enforcement, the two sides signed the Guangdong-Hong Kong Exchange and Training Cooperation Agreement on Labor Inspection and Law Enforcement. Because healthcare was another focus of the meeting, the leaders penned the Memorandum of Understanding on Drugs and Medical Devices, Monitoring and Cooperation in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area. The goal of the letter of intent is to enhance exchanges and cooperation on the regulation of drugs and medical devices in the area. The leaders also exchange views on topics such as education, culture, and youth development.